你好 ，Welcome to Ask Candy. In this video, our topic is Chinese pronunciation 01. I'm going to teach you the Chinese alphabet and Chinese pronunciation from the very beginning. I'm going to answer five questions. Question number one: What is a Chinese syllable composed of? So I'm going to teach you the components of a Chinese syllable. Question number two: Simple finals. So I'm going to teach you these simple finals. Question number three: Simple initials. So I'm going to teach you how to pronounce these simple initials. Question number four: Any tricks to learn four tones? So I'm going to share with you my tricks to learn four tones. Question number five: How to combine finals, initials, and tones to make a Chinese pronunciation, like to pronounce a Chinese syllable? So I'm going to teach you how to do that in this video. For question number one: What is a Chinese syllable composed of? So we must know the answer to this. Question first: What is Chinese pinyin? In China, the pronunciation system is known as pinyin system. So, what is Chinese pinyin? Actually, pin means to spell. Yin is sound to spell sound. Why do we say that? Because in China, we write we with characters. See, these are two characters. That is, 你好 But you may not have a clue for the pronunciation. So we are we need pinyin to know the pronunciation. N I N H A O with those tones. So 你好 So what is a Chinese syllable composed of? I made them in different colors. So for this N and H in blue, those these two are initials. I A O I made them in yellow. They are finals. And these two. These two are tones. How to do that? I'm going to let you know that later. But what does these the, these two syllables mean? So actually, the two characters mean the syllables to to let us know how to read them, how to say them. So it literally it means you good. Actually, it means hello in Chinese. See, Chinese people are really friendly. We we say like you good, sort of like a wish you good to greet each other. So let's move on. Number two, question number two: How to pronounce simple finals like these simple finals? Let's do them one by one. So you don't really need to read after me many times. So I'm going to let you know counterparts in English. So you're going to find it easy. So for this one, a letter a letter a in Chinese, we don't read it as a. We read it as a a. So just this one a. And then letter o. First, you do orange. So remember, this is the part. So o, o. Letter e, we do a, a. So it's really relaxing, like you're signing. This one, letter i, we do this part. So first, you say b. So this one, e e. So that will be e, e. Letter u is like in zoo, o o in zoo. So that will be u. Mm. This one is a bit tricky. So, U with the two dots, like with the umlaut. So actually, in German language, we have this one. But if you're not a German or not a French, so how can you do with that in in French language? As far as I know, we also have that. So for this one, I made them in an equation. So see, U with umlaut equals I plus U. What does that mean? So. It's related to the pronunciation of this i and u in Pinyin. So another another one, I made them even easier for you. That will be ee plus oo. What does that mean? Actually, it means so ee here. So that will be e. E means your e refers to your tongue position. So you need to keep your tongue position like you do in e. And then oo is u. So that is related to your. Your lips, the shape of your lips. So when you combine those two together, you are going to make the pronunciation u. So how can you do that? Let's see it. First, do e, e. Then you can find the correct, the right tongue position, and then you do u, u. Then you know the correct shape of your lips. But how to combine them together? Pay attention to my mouth. First, we do this one. E, e. Then the shape of my mouth changes. It will be e, 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 e. But first you do e and u, e, u, e, u, e, u, 
U, C, you keep your tongue position like E and change your lips, change the lips, change the shape of the lips into U, and then you make the pronunciation. Does that work? I hope it works for you. Let's move on. So number three, question number three: How to pronounce simple initials? So I made them into three groups. Actually, you are going to see that in three groups all the time. Why? Because for the group for group one, we pronounce them with our lips. Group two, the major part we focus on the the point of our tongue. Group three is the we need to pronounce them with the root of our tongue. So actually, these ones are easy for you because it's similar to those ones in English. So this b is like in English we do bag. So bag. Put, p, mask, m, fly, f, the same. So this one you do desk, t, table, t, need, n, let, th. and this one number three, group three, good, k, key, k, hello, h, that's it. And then question number four: Any tricks to learn four tones? So I'm going to share with you my tricks for four tones. My trick is find some counterparts in English. Some, some means some. We some I have found. Some I couldn't find. <laughs> so I couldn't find. So、uh, for first tone, I haven't found the counterparts in English. So let's start with second tone. So for second tone, I found the counterparts I I found in English is is the okay. So when you making a suggestion, sort of you are talking to your friends, saying like, "Let's hang out tonight." Okay, okay. So this okay is different from a normal okay, but it is like you are. It's a rising tone, so you are, it's a suggestion. Okay, so let's hang out. Okay, k. You keep this k and make it here. See, it's rising. K. Okay, ma. Ma, correct, easy, right? Let's move on. So for third tone, so what is what is the counterpart in English of a third tone? It is when you are hesitating, you are saying like well. So you are hesitating, like well. Let me think about it. Well, so this L, move that L here. It's it goes down and goes up again. So that will be well, ma, ma. Same, easy, right? And this one, this one is a bit controversial because in some text in Chinese textbooks, some Chinese textbooks, you are going to find they let you know the counterpart is yes or no. Actually, I find yes or no is not good. Yes or no is not good enough because sometimes we say yes or no with a flat tone. So my counterpart is H E Y. That is, hey. Hey, what is that? Hey, that's a hey in emergency. Sort of, you are seeing like a car is driving towards a river or a cliff. You are going to say, "Hey, stop! Hey, hey!" Like in hey in emergency. In that case, for sure, it's a falling tone. So it's a sharp. So hey, stop! Hey, make it here. Ma, ma. That's it. So, what about first tone? So for first tone. Doesn't work in this part. I couldn't find the counterpart in English, but someone helped me out. That's、uh, he was. He's my neighbor. He's a young boy. He was learning the basic musical notes. He was singing Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti. At that moment, it came to my mind. That's exactly what we want. It's high and flat. T Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti. Keep that T in your mind and make it here. So that will be. T, make it here. Ma, ma, exactly. Done. So let's see them all together. So they in one in one chart. So for this one, so the first tone. Remember, my trick is T, do re mi fa so la T, T, ma. Correct. And then let's hand out. Okay, K, ma. And then, well, let me think about it. Well, ma. And then, hey, stop. Hey, ma. Done. Four tones. You can remember those things, and you're going to find those four tones are not difficult for you. It's easy. And then, question number five: How to combine finals, initials, and tones? So I just make some examples because there are too many, too many to to list. 
So you do with tones together. So B and A together, that will be ba, but without tones. Make tones there, so that will be ba, 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 and then pa, 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 pa. Mm, too many. So ma, that will be ma, 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 ma. I recommend you to go with like just just at the very beginning. First tone is really flat, so that will be ma, 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 ma. But later you're going to find it sort of is in your mind. It won't be so difficult for you. So I make two examples. So the example is so you make a ba together with a fourth tone. So that will be hey. That will be ba. And the neutral tone. Neutral tone is slight. Just ba ba, ba ba, ba ba is dad. And then M A, so that will be first tone. First tone is do re mi fa sol la t. So ma, ma ma, neutral tone. So ma ma, ma ma is mom. So now you can say dad and mom. So that will be ba ba, ma ma, ba ba, ma ma. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye. 再见